Hi, Leo. We're doing a giveaway. We're five giveaway winners. We'll receive a confidential personal reading with Psychic Sid. No one has to know that you're getting a reading. All right. And the way you can apply for this particular giveaway is by reposting and sharing this video on Instagram. Thank you so much for the love and the support and for just putting your name in the hat. I've been writing down all of you guys' names. All right. And you can also apply by commenting down below underneath this YouTube video the type of reading you want and why. Oh my gosh. We have a flyer. Okay. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. And finger, warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. There's something in this reading that is warning you of a problem. Okay. So... You can be energetically connected to a Leo, have Leo in your chart, or be dealing with a Leo. Okay, happiness and Al, good advice from a wise person. Okay, Al's usually represent mysticism, the supernatural, um, intelligence, wisdom, learning through age and experience. Rose, romance is in the air. Okay, you could be dealing definitely with a Leo. The rose represents Leo. Someone could like roses, or roses are important, okay? Woo. Wow, dog barking advice from a friend. Gemini, Libra energy, you also have diamond. You will be receiving or giving a gift. All right, and flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Do not lower your standards, Leo. You deserve the absolute best. The absolute best. I'm going to use this one. Some of you are getting advice from a, from friends, okay, or from a friend. Dogs can be important. What well, can you tell us, please? So, Leo, uh, some of you could be getting proposed to or just receiving a gift giving a gift or someone's giving you a gift okay what can you tell us for leo all right just breathe leo as we transition into this month cross watcher as well the feeling of a need to do a lot of self-care especially for emotional balance is going to be important to really be present do you know if you really pay attention to your breathing that you may not be taking in full breaths through the nose out through the mouth meaning you're you're racing for the next second you're not really indulging in the moment in the now so in this present moment take a breath in through your nose and then relax. Wherever you are in the world, just relax and breathe out. Allow yourself to feel, think, breathe, be. Inhale the now and exhale. The then. All right. What can you tell us for the end? Bob Marley, a small axe can fell the tallest tree. The fruits of Babylon are rotten to the core. Everything that is holy is among us here on earth. This is about relaxing. This is also about collective consciousness, awareness. Okay. This is also talking about relaxing, learning the art of truly relaxing. Be present in the current moment. You could also be dealing with someone that is from a different culture or background. Okay. When in doubt, swim to new ground. Jam with others, but remain the lead. Redream past lives. So everyone has past lives. PJ Harvey, everyone has past lives. But in every present life, I mean, it's so easy to get comfortable in past life energy, right? Like, oh, I've done that before, and therefore it's not going to be hard to do it now. Yeah, that's great and all, but that's a comfort zone. We're talking about a revolution. A revolution. 
of yourself. You evolving into a new chapter in your life. A new you. A new way of going about things. Okay. A new beginning for you. Okay, Leo. Dawn of a new day. Leo, cross watcher. All right, dawn of a new day. Ooh, focus. Temperance and you have nourishment. This is about nourishing yourself, your projects. There's something that's ready to hatch. Wax and crescent five, the number seven. You could also be getting support from friends. This could be uh, rags to riches. This can also be talking about emotional maturity. Really evolving, you finding emotional maturity and discipline. This means respecting boundaries. This means remaining emotionally balanced. This means taking care of yourself and nourishing yourself. Transformation, focusing on you, okay? The love you wish to experience and feel is something that exudes in you, okay? Sometimes we feel like we have to express it in order to receive it. The truth is you can always receive it from yourself, nourishing yourself, your projects, nourishing the things that matter to you, your children. Some of you could be pregnant here or just very fertile. Um, I also feel like you could be eating better nourishment. You could be more disciplined with the way you're eating. You could be eating a lot of herbs and fruits. A lot of um, dreams, downloads are coming through. You can also be going to Aries, a Scorpio, Gemini, or a Libra. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, or a Sagittarius. Okay, let's use this deck. Be in the present moment. This is enjoying happiness. Romance is in the air. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift, Leo. Okay. And happiness, the art of happiness is embracing the now. Not really racing so much to experience something in the future, but the now. And by being present in the now, you allow your future to unfold naturally the way it's meant to. I really love that. It's very peaceful. You are magical. What do you have for Leo, please? For Leo? Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. Virgo, I analyze your routine, your health. You, that is definitely, like, changed. I feel like you could be working out, taking vitamins, really taking care of yourself, your self-care is nourishing you to continue to move forward. Another seven, a lot of meditation. A lot of time going within because the more you go within, the more you don't project out, project things onto other people because, oh, if I'm unhappy, everyone has to be unhappy. No, 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 no. You really have to look at your own energy to make sure that you are not um, projecting energy onto another person. This is about not just embodying the energy that you wish to experience, but allowing yourself to be a vibe. You're a whole vibe leo you're a whole vibe cross watcher this is about embracing how you emotionally feel this could be about parenting mothering fathering the way you nurture and father and mother yourself right really beautiful about your job about your ambitions a nine again we have another nine i feel like i had another nine at some point but we have a seven, another seven. I see a five. So you're experimenting, researching a lot, really focused in. This could be about school. This could be about work, yourself. I feel like there's a lot of transformation going in the way you self-talk. You could be um, allowing yourself to feel emotion and process it mentally so that it is accepted and not rejected or projected. Oh, I like that. What you got for Leo, please, Holy Spirit? Ooh, no, 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 I don't wanna take all that. Okay, I guess I'm taking all of it. Links, keeper of secrets, take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You see other secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and solitude, you will find your strength. I think you keep 
This is almost like the high priestess. Moon and Virgo. You can be known a Taurus, a Libra, a Pisces, a Sagittarius, and Aries, a Scorpio. Keeping secrets. Keeping others' secrets. All right? It's like you know how to... I feel like you observe a lot and you know a lot, but you're willing to learn. And you keep a lot to yourself because... Trust is built off of confidentiality. That's what trust is built off of. Dog, friend, like a, a best friend, you know? Making sure that this isn't something I would want another person to do to me. Therefore, I won't do that to them. Today, I will love without condition unconditional love not love that has a condition of i'll only love you if you do love it no 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 no. whether it's money or sex or image or vice or just toxicity or codependency or you know um energy vampire or whatever it's about loving without condition unconditional love of self loving yourself without condition have you said, oh, I only love myself if I make sure that I work out? I only love myself if I make sure that I do this at a particular time, a particular way, at a particular time. And da, da, da. No. Don't put condition on the way that you love yourself. Okay? I only love myself if I lose this much um, weight a week or whatever. Or whatever it is for you. Or for you in relationships, friendships, do not love with condition. I only love my, I only love this person or care about this person if they contact me da, 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 this many times. Da, 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 da. Do not put condition on love, on what love even represents. Don't limit it. Okay. This is about expanding the way you look at the world and yourself. My energy and enthusiasm are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I just heard glory. I am a protector and friend. You can be dealing with someone who's very, um, like loyal. I feel like saying loyal or kind or honest. Best intentions, okay. White stag, protector, very protective. Someone's very protective. You are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. This, um, this is about looking at life from a point of view where you know you can manifest and create whatever you want. Create your blessings. It's not just about receiving blessings, but being allowed to create it. This can be created through allowing. This can be created by understanding within yourself you already have what it is that you want. Your actions have to match that as well, though, right? That's why there's some form of rebirth within yourself about the way that you go and perceive the world. Aries, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo. You can reinvent yourself, open to the rewards of change. You have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. Don't just love the, the parts of it where it was really amazing and you know, this was uh, going really well. There are other parts, right? <laughs> the good and the bad is what made you who you are now. Don't put condition on the love that you may have for you or for a person. That's not real love. Unconditional love is when you give without trying to expect anything back, receive anything back. Unconditional love is making someone a priority and communicating and giving effort and giving your all because that is what you want to do because you care about that person and you love that person. Okay? What you want, right, is what you should embody and be able to give and therefore receive if you've made the proper decision to be with someone who is capable of giving that back and will give that back, then that's something that should be able to work, right? What can you tell us for Leo? That's something you want, Leo. Reciprocal love. What you give, Leos are extremely giving because what they do is they give it from the heart. 
That's why they're so giving. But, you know, Leo, this is also about remember to give to yourself. What's meant to come in your life will come in your life. Okay? It will. Just relax. You don't have to give so much, right? You're very financially stable. And you don't want that to be abused, used, or be used for your money. Or um, feel like that's the only thing that a relationship or a commitment is based on. Because money does not keep a relationship alive. It doesn't. Someone has dark hair and eyes. You want real love. And this is something you can have right now. Look at yourself in the mirror. The person that you may have been thinking about, it's not who you think. This is not who you think. So maybe you don't know this person or, or maybe you do. It's, it's not who you think. So if you've had an expectation, you need to release expectation. This is coming in a way you'll never expect. Isn't it better for something to come in a way that you never expect rather than the way that you consistently dreamed it to be? Someone's also self-employed. So they most likely run their own business. Very financially stable. They're very supportive. Either financially supportive, emotionally supportive, spiritually supportive. Sexually supportive, whatever. They're supportive in some way, okay? Question their past. So maybe there's something that's not known. Huh. Life of the party. What else do you have? They're a long-distance lover. So someone's very charismatic. They're probably a uh, long-distance from you. Some of you guys can be getting engaged. Morning person. Someone's a morning person, okay? Um, I also feel like for some of you, you could be getting communication in the morning. Okay. Someone's also a social butterfly. All right, maybe they know a lot of people. They're physically active, okay? They probably work out. Has integrity. And is very fun. All right. Okay, it's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Responsible. And you also have, ooh, unfaithful and fleeting romance. Fleeting romance signifies that it's a relationship, um, some, it's like a relationship or a commitment that doesn't last for very long. It only lasts for like three years, two years, one year. Like it's, it's, it doesn't last very long as far as a relationship because it's only meant to be in your life for oh so long to teach you something, all right? So that can mean that it can teach you good things, bad things, different things. It can be one of those situations where you get in a relationship and you um, outgrow one another, right? Um, you go in a different way or different path. Someone's unfaithful. I believe Aquarius was the only one that got that one as well. And that's the overall energy you can't see. Okay, so why is that the overall energy? Motivated. Manipulator. Okay, someone is manipulating. They're unfaithful. And there's spiritual here, so maybe there's a spiritual connection. There's someone manipulative here. Give me that. What is this? Yeah, they're controlling. Anything else for unfaithful, manipulative. A lost spouse, or they're about to lose a spouse. I see loyal and shows empathy. There's something, yeah, someone is controlling, manipulative, and unfaithful. You need to know that. You need to know that. Yeah. They can be very sophisticated, loyal. You can be comfortable with this person, but someone is non-committal. Very accomplished. All right. Okay. 
that's what I got there. Let's get the other deck. Very crazy energy. Someone is unfaithful. Can you tell us what Leo needs to know? What does Leo need to know, please, Holy Spirit? What's Leo need to know? Be honest. Someone needs to be honest. Someone's been controlling, manipulative, lost spouse, or someone's losing a spouse, or about to lose a spouse. That's what's coming up. Oh. More time is needed. Someone could be trying to become clear about what is their truth, because someone needs to be honest about something they're not being honest about. Make the first move. They're going to be making the first move. Someone's going to be making the first move. Crosswatchers could be for you. Leo's could be for you. You complement each other. Focus on your goals. You complement each other. All right. Okay. And not on your path. Someone who's unfaithful is not on your path. It's not on your path for you to experience this. Timing isn't right. Okay, so someone's unfaithful. The timing isn't right. Someone's also starting a business. Give me unfaithful. Gaining clarity and wisdom. You're going to start seeing this clearly. This has potential. Not on your path. You're, okay. So someone's unfaithful and they're not on your path. The timing isn't right. You could be meeting someone else or someone is coming into your life. It's not who you think. Anything else about a faithful for Leo? Yeah, you need to question their intentions. Someone is unfaithful. You need to question their intentions. And next year could be important. And someone's moving, like someone's relocating. You could be thinking of moving. Yeah, someone's moving. Someone feels that uh, a secret coming out. It, okay, someone feels like if they move, a conflict will be resolved and a secret will come out. There's a secret that's going to come out. Someone, the secret could be that someone's unfaithful. Yeah. Open your heart. There can be children involved. Your person is heaven sent. Okay. Very interesting. I see a lot of um, emotional healing. Okay. But, wow. Okay, Leo. Let's see what's going on. I think someone's coming in that's going to make the first move towards you. This could be in the morning time. Okay? But someone who's unfaithful, manipulative, and controlling is not on your path. That's crazy that that all came out. Manipulative, controlling, and unfaithful. You could also be losing someone like this if you're in a relationship. Okay? It's not on your path to experience that. Man, woman, it really doesn't matter. It's not on your path to experience that. But he tells for Leo, wow. Page of Wands. Page of Wands represents someone who's extremely far away. But it's good news and it's a message of good intention. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Fisius, Pisces. Younger fire sign. That was a surge from spirit. Um, younger fire sign. Could be a Sagittarius, Pisces. You see the horse in the background be officious as well um this is basically like the sign you could be dealing with this is you leo <laughs> this is you um very motivated innovative you could be starting a new business you could be just very creative right now this could be about school sports working out this could be about a lot of different things you also have the moon coming out cancer Pisces, sagittarius huh Someone, okay, the page of wands is good news as well. It's, it's, a, it's a message you want to hear. The moon. All right, there could have been unfaithfulness. Wow, look at that, the queen of wands. There could be a message coming in as well. The queen of wands, though. Wow, beautiful. This is also the energy of the empress, Taurus Libra, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but it's predominantly, this is you, Leo. Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ophetius. You're definitely starting a business. There could have been unfaithfulness, deception, negative energies, false friends, um, illusion being cleared up, fear being cleared up. 
what is this nine of swords gemini mars it is the subject of gossip someone feels guilty they have a guilty conscience he's like looking over at her you could be like a model a singer a dancer a tarot card reader a business owner someone who's in the spotlight um very attractive and single queen of wands is always single someone's gonna be contacting you you could be their friend or something okay queen of wands is like a, a friend all right five seven seven of pentacles taurus saturn taurus capricorn and then we had gemini mars gemini aries scorpio someone's coming towards you that has known you for a long time They've known you for a long time. Yeah, Cancer, Aries, Taurus, Scorpio could be a Libra. They've known you for a long time, coming towards you very balanced. You could be getting support from someone at a distance or there's travel or some level of communication. Five of Swords, Venus, and Aquarius. There's an arrest that escalates in violence or even possibly murder, but Five of Swords is Venus and Aquarius. It's like someone's going to do something out of revenge. And make a major sacrifice wait that's not why does this look like the five of swords it's actually the five of wands huh i don't say anything by accident there's a secret that comes out but it ends conflict it ends conflict it ends uh drama if you've been trying to figure out if there's um a lot of fighting the fighting ends like fighting ends i don't know if that means be real sad real capricorn that's also like competition competitiveness nine of cups pisces sagittarius someone is depressed they feel like they're getting what they want but they're not happy about it they also don't have that self-love they need to get that self-love six of wands Four of Cups, Cancer, Sun, Car Cancer, Moon. Yeah, Cancer, Moon, Pisces, Sagittarius. Six of Wands, Leo, Jupiter, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces. And Eight of Swords, Gemini, Jupiter, Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces. We're talking about timing. One, two, three, four, five, five of Wands. July 22nd to the August 1st could be important to you. One, two, three. Wands is still really important here. Share it. Uh, June 22nd to July 22nd could also be important. I feel like someone has been in victim mentality about their finances. Like um, they maybe want to go back to school or even think of retirement. The emperor. The emperor is like <laughs> the emperor. The nine of pentacles and the emperor. Um, I feel like you're stressed out. Venus and Virgo, Aries, Taurus, Seal, Scorpio, you're very stressed out. Cancer as well. Very stressed out. You're worried about your finances. Um, this is someone who could be um, a little stubborn. Thank you for all of the brands. You guys are absolutely amazing. I see success after dealing with conflict and dissatisfaction. Success, public recognition, maybe being a leader. Single, six of wands is single. It's almost like maybe an, even an angel, a Libra. Something moves you to calmer waters. You could also be uh, meeting someone new. There's a new love coming in, a Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. You don't see it coming, Gemini, Jupiter, Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces. All right, you don't see it coming. Some of you were trying to look at all of the positives of a commitment and a relationship. And you didn't want to see that someone could be either taking their stability elsewhere or sneaking away to someone. A queen of wands. The emperor is moving to his, towards a friend. Now, let me see what's underneath that. Nine of pentacles. You're moving towards your single. You're moving towards your past. This is an Aries, Leo, or a Scorpio you knew in your past. Uh, Cancer, Aries, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio is coming towards you. You don't see this coming, and this person's healing from something. They could have also gotten out of confusion about someone cheating on them, or in a relationship like cheating. Um, there's someone who's a very attractive energy. The Queen of Wands is a friend. That's someone who's single. Okay, she's confident. She's independent. 
She does her own thing. All right. What do you have? If you're dealing with a Cancer Pisces Sagittarius here, if you're dealing, they're not standing up for themselves, Leo Mars, Leo Scorpio, but they're not being defensive either. They're just not standing up for themselves. Okay. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Um, that could either be unrequited love uh, or a cheater, an Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Ophetius. Someone who's like a fake Romeo. Okay. Um, it's either unrequited love or someone's taking back an engagement or a proposal. Um, moon in Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, and Aquarius, Taurus, Seal, Scorpio, Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius, the Wheel of Fortune with the Nine of Cups. Someone's going after their wish fulfillment with self love. I think um, if you're if you've been dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, or Sagittarius, there's unfaithfulness and infidelity. Um, someone is emotionally blocked, right? Not emotionally. Well, yeah, they could be there. They could have an addiction or they're cheating. They're, they're for sure cheating. There's lying, cheating, stealing, thieving, communication coming from an Aquarius, Taurus, Seal, Scorpio, Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius. They are creatively blocked. There you go. They're very creatively blocked if you're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. They're also um, possibly, well, most likely a player with the Nine of Cups and others. All right, they're spying as well. I just saw the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They could be watching you in online or something this person has cheated it was very confusing but it's very clear now okay there's gonna be a message with good intention coming towards you revealing some truth to you leo and you don't even know you just got your hand raised you're manifesting you can own a business well for sure queen of wands always owns a business um if you're dealing with a you could be definitely dealing with an aquarius there's something about cheating with the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Swords, Moon, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, or short-term relationship. Somebody no longer fighting for a short-term relationship and that coming out. If you're dealing with a, well, Queen of Wands, that's you. So what can you tell us for the Queen of Wands? What's coming towards Leo here for the Queen of Wands? Someone is, wow, the Emperor is coming towards you. The fool, he's coming towards you single. I was wondering where the hell the emperor is. Here he is, Aquarius, Super Gemini, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius. Six of Wands, Leo, Jupiter, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces. He's taking a, a crazy leap towards you. Um, Yeah, he's leaving behind a burden, Sagittarius, Capricorn, could be Pisces. He's leaving behind family or something. Capricorn, Taurus, something toxic, a toxic relationship or marriage. This person's coming towards you with a knapsack and they're animals, basically. Um, but they've been through some battles and they're coming back towards you. They know that they're going to receive bad public recognition for coming towards you, Leo, but they don't care because they, they just they just don't care. They've released past baggage. So that's pretty amazing. Um, the victory was the victory. I feel like someone's taking the cup. The four of cups is like you could get up to take the cup. You're not taking the cup. Take the cup, right? <laughs> In reverse. Someone's taking a cup or giving a cup. Okay. Give us six of wands for Leo. What's the victory for Leo here? I see travel. Some of you are getting in a long-term relationship. If you are dealing with the six of wands, victory with an Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio. Someone very financially stable. All right. He's got all these grapes on him. Very abundant, balanced financially. This could even be a work. Ooh, Queen of Wands. If you're dealing with the Six of Wands, Queen of Wands. What else you got? Some of you are in a relationship. Knight of Swords. Tower. Ooh, Magician. And the Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Libra Saturn, Libra Capricorn. Why do I feel like these are two energies? If you're dealing with the, the Six of Wands, Six of Wands energy is moving forward single. You're leaving behind a Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ophetius. Um, I do feel like there was someone single here that you felt like didn't have a lot of confidence, was very vindictive, manipulative. Um, could have cheated, okay? 
There's cheating here. Aries, Scorpio. There's cheating. That could be where the infidelity is. Someone could have actually cheated with someone. Aries, Scorpio, Knight of Swords, Magician. This is possibly, a, most likely a third party. Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio, a mistress man. This can also be the energy you embodied. Someone's pissed off. They have mental illness. Uh, very manipulative, want to do whatever it takes to win. I feel like this was third party. And it led to heartbreak, okay? Anything else for the uh, Queen of Wands in reverse here? Oof. Page of Cups. Yeah, um, you're taking back a proposal or an engagement from this person. Um, unrequited love, Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Eva, Gemini, cutting them out of your life. Lying, not telling the truth, or a painful medical treatment. I think that there's creative block or ignoring the inner child or vindictiveness, manipulation, and you're just juggling. You're trying to recover, Gemini, Mercury. I see the Ten of Swords in reverse. You've been through it. You're trying to recover from um, a fake apology. Someone could have tried to fake apologize or something. But this tower, there is a infidelity or a breakup or a divorce happening here. Someone was very manipulative or something. Financially, things could be worse, but you've been juggling. You could have been juggling a lot. You could have been juggling people, responsibilities, or trading money from one place to the next, not talking about it. All right? Or juggling comes out that there's been juggling. Cool? Cool. Hopefully the message is resonated. Very clear. I do want to see what this message is. What's this message for Leo? Before we get out of here. Oh. What's the message for Leo? Five of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Eight of Wands. It's a new person or it's a new relationship. And King of Swords. You see that clearly. You're communicating this. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Pisces. You're on the move. It's moving fast. Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You're very cold. <laughs> With this message, I feel like you are like, because Eight of Pentacles, no work being put in. Virgo, Sun, Virgo, Leo. Could be Aries or Scorpio, but there is a new beginning. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ephesians, Pisces, maybe a sun born. Taurus, Mercury. Um, financial um, gain, maybe even employment. I feel like you're going to see this very clearly that it's a message with good intention, but four of wands, Venus and Aries could be Scorpio. You could be in an unhappy relationship, marriage, or family, but there's someone new coming in in the next 11 days, all right? Or there's a new beginning with someone, a younger fire sign and an a air sign or a Capricorn is coming towards you. You're moving towards this person. You're at a distance, but you're moving towards the Empress. The Taurus, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Sagittarius. This person is very abundant. They see the world differently. They're comfortable. The best advice comes from a loving heart. Best advice comes from you being loving to yourself. Okay? Be willing to be loving to yourself, to others. Okay? I do feel like you could be moving as well. What is this? Is this a dog? This looks like a dog. Loyalty. You want real loyalty. You don't want something that's built off of money and looks and sex. Can't surprise you, Sagittarius. You want something real. You can be done with a Virgo. Okay? Emotions. You want to do an emotionally fulfilling job. I feel like someone's very intelligent here. Bye. Thank you so much to all of the brands. You can be done with a Leo. That's you, Leo. All right. I do feel like you're getting more creative. You could even be in the spotlight of some kind. 29. All right, what do we got for Leo? All right. To one who draws a 29, the face decree, your luck is fine. Decree, your luck is fine. Your life will be most vigorous in action, full of strife. You'll fight your way through all of it and live a good long life. You will not wed your first love, but the loss is your benefit. You will get your wish. Um, if you don't get to wed your first love, whatever that means for you, it's because it wasn't meant to be. It probably would have ended not good for you. So it was a blessing. It's not on your path to experience someone who's unfaithful. If they're unfaithful in their relationship, they'll be unfaithful to you. I also feel like maybe there's no sexual attraction or something like that. Or there was um, 
nobody wants someone who'd be willing to be in a third party situation because if they ever got with you you would end up being in a third party like you would be okay with cheating or whatever like there's no respect for self have self for your, your have respect for yourself you also could have just been dealing with two fire signs all right okay you drawn the four of pentacles you need to feel safe and protect your capability capricorn sun capricorn leo this is a materialistic relationship or fake shows of love things that are just based off of money and holding on to people places and things in the past this is not a time to take risks stay on your trodden path and follow familiar methods i am your affirmation is i am protected and safe repeat it throughout the day until you feel your back on track okay that is what i got for you leo um, you may be experimenting, researching, practicing emotional health, um, your routine, your body, your job, your routine, your morning routine. What is it that makes you happy? Okay, you got this. Some of you are definitely relocating. Okay. Um, if you're a younger fire sign, an older air sign or a Capricorn is coming towards you to talk to you, to tell you some type of truth, offer, because you're having a new beginning. Maybe a new job, a new creative beginning or something like that. You're having something brand new and abundant or a new person's coming towards you. Congratulations, Leo. Love you a lot. Don't even know you'd love you. Later, Leo.